Hi everyone. So I know it's been a minute, but I wanted to dive back into the life coaching series. It's a series that I really, really love. And so I decided, hey, why not? And so I want to jump back right into it. So today I want to talk about support and why support doesn't always feel like support when it's offered. So generally, when you think about support, you're just thinking about the common aspect of someone helping you out in some particular fashion. It may be indirectly or directly. Um, but there's a part of support that I think sometimes people overlook, and that is, is the support that you're giving actually what the person needs? And sometimes they miss each other because there is a miss in communication. I always give this perfect example. You know, gas is extremely high right now, right? So let's say I come to you and I say, you know what? Gas is high. I want to treat you today. I'm going to, let's go to the gas station and I'm going to fill up your tank. You said, okay, awesome. Thank you so much. And so you hop in the, um, you hop in your car and I follow you. And then I fill up your tank. And you're so grateful and you're thanking me and I'm saying no problem. It's, it's not an issue at all. And then you go into the store, grab something, and you come back and you get in your vehicle. You begin to drive off and then all of a sudden your vehicle starts to make all these noises, all these sounds, and then it stops right there. You get out like, oh my gosh, what happened? And then that's when you realize that the nozzle that I'm holding is green, which means I put diesel in your tank and you need it unleaded. You need it gasoline, even though my intentions were good and my intentions were coming from the right, from the right place. I didn't give you what you needed. And in fact, I actually caused more harm. And so that's what happens when we don't give people the support that they actually need. And we assume how we should support people. Communication is so important, even as a person who needs support. For me on my journeys, um, some of my biggest supporters had to be my sisters. And what I had to learn was I had to communicate with them how I needed support from them. Even when I felt like I wasn't being offered the support, I it would have been great to hear someone say, hey, you know, how can I support you? But I had to learn and take the initiative for myself to tell, to ask people, hey, um, can you support me? And this is how you can support me. And if you are a person that's looking on the other side and that you feel like you want to support people, ask them, how can I support you in this? That way you're not putting diesel in a tank that was meant for gasoline and we're not causing further problems. And that is so, so important. So if you're seeking support or you're seeking to support, you know, reveal to someone, share with someone, this is how you can support me. And then also be the person to ask, hey, how can I support you? And it is 100% okay if you cannot support someone and that's not in your capacity. Feel comfortable in saying, I can't support you at this moment, but maybe I know someone who can. And that is perfectly okay. I think sometimes we feel like because someone asks, we have to, but sometimes we just don't have it in us and that's fine. So I just wanted to come in and talk about that little piece on support. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Laquanda, my first name. And I will chat with y'all later. Bye.